What's up, Internet? My name's Ori. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. You like this video? Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell. You'll never miss a video. You'll never miss a stream. Today is Thursday, September 15th. It's day 72 inside the Big Brother house. Uh, and we have a lot to go over from yesterday on the live feeds, plus last night's uh, episode, the veto episode, which we were actually live over on Twitch doing a watch party. Uh, so if you haven't followed over there, the links are in the description description a pinned comment down below uh, so you can follow over there we will be live tonight for the watch along for the live eviction episode uh, so make sure you come on out for that that's going to be a lot of fun as always uh, let's break down a little bit about what happened on the episode because there wasn't too much it was a fairly boring episode but there were a few things uh, that we uh, probably should mention uh, first off one of the mo most interesting things that I was looking forward to in the episode was Monty getting disqualified and not being able to compete in the veto competition so I, I really love the idea of a surprise competition that they just kind of wake the house guests up in the middle of the night or even if they did one like in the middle of a day when they weren't expecting competition I think that's a really cool little element they could add to the game more and make things a little bit more exciting and unpredictable and and more chaotic for the house guests uh, going forward in future seasons uh, so I would really like if they they did more of this it's very similar to something they did back in BB7. There was a, a competition very similar where they only had a few uh, moments to really get ready for the comp uh, and they had to get outside. At first, I was like, man, Monty was actually DQ'd. It feels like it, you couldn't cut him a little bit of a break. After seeing the footage and how slow he was moving around and getting up, it's, he, he, listen, it was his fault. He, he did it to himself. He should have hurried just a little bit more and he wouldn't have been fine because he wasn't that late. He was just really a few seconds shy uh, of getting out there in time in time so uh really uh, the blame falls on him <laughs> but yeah it did seem uh when we first heard about it a little rough but yeah you, you, you can only blame yourself on that one Monty uh and it, it was one of those things where if he was in it potentially could have had a completely different outcome uh but it, again we will never know this was also one that Monty didn't necessarily want to win because he didn't want to have to uh make that decision and and Put anybody up or take anybody down or, or anything like that he'd rather <laughs> it just kind of go to whoever uh but yeah it could have been completely different uh but we did get the competition which was kind of a cool one with the gears they had to put them all in different spots so that they all spun uh and and moved and Brittany came out with the win she got that veto win was able to take herself off the block uh and the replacement nominee ended up being taylor <laughs> one other interesting thing that i just i had to just kind of laugh at uh well two things from the episode i just had to kind of laugh at uh one was Brittany right after she wins the veto goes this is for you michael this is for you <laughs> Yeah, come on. Like, he just threw you under the bus. It wasn't for him. This is for you, Brittany. Like, own it for yourself. She didn't even at that point know how hard Michael had thrown her under the bus, including uh, revealing that she was lying about her job and all the extra stuff uh, he went out of his way to tell people. So <laughs> just calm down a little bit, Brittany. Calm down a little bit. Uh, and then the second thing that I really thought was kind of funny was, uh, especially with what's been happening on the feeds the past two nights, with Monte, Monty and Taylor kind of hooking up uh, was the idea of uh, them showing the clip of Joseph feeding her grapes <laughs> with, with uh, you know, that whole uh, jailer uh, showmance that everybody was hoping would happen, the fomance, the showmance, and, and just everybody kind of shipping the two of them online <laughs> now showing that clip with what ended up happening uh, over the past few nights on the feeds, uh, I thought was pretty funny. But let's jump into the live feeds themselves because uh, going into today, we were getting set up for a possible blindside on Taylor, Monty, and Turner. Brittany had come up with this idea to vote Alyssa to stay and to vote Taylor out because potentially Turner would give Alyssa a sympathy vote, not thinking that she would ever vote Taylor out. 
So if that were to happen, that would have meant that Taylor would have been evicted right out of the house with two votes. Uh, whereas it, originally they thought, well, maybe we could do it as a, a, a split and then have Monty Monty cast that tiebreaker to send Alyssa to, to jury so that Turner wouldn't have to really mess up his relationship with her. Monty was trying to be a good friend on that one. Eventually they kind of backpedaled on that and they were like, eh, we'll probably just, you know, do it straight up, especially because Brittany and, and uh, Alyssa really played too hard on this. If they were a little bit more subtle, it might have worked, but let's kind of break down uh, how this all went down. Uh, so Brittany confirmed with Alyssa that she was going to keep her and she asked, the, like, you know, what do you think is going to be happening with Turner? Can you get Turner? If you can get Turner, we can make this happen. Uh, if you can't get Turner, you would have to work on Monty, but it, it, it really the best bet is to get Turner to give you his vote. Because if you can do that, we can make this go. Uh, Alyssa then asked Turner again, like, hey, are you sure you're voting for me? Like, uh, Brittany's undecided. I just want to make sure I have you at least. He lied to her. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I got you. I got you 100%. Uh, and then Alyssa actually went to Monty to kind of ask about, like, if there was a tie, would she possibly break it so that, uh, you know, she would stay instead of Taylor? Never going to happen. <laughs> but she at least tried. Uh, and, yeah, it, eh. It was a thing. She also lied about Brittany uh, saying that she was going to give her the vote. She lied to Turner and to Monty about that. So she was trying. Give give Alyssa all the credit she, she could. She was trying her hardest uh, to get this to happen. But Brittany really overplayed it. So Brittany and Turner ended up chatting in the have-not room. And uh, he confirmed, like, yeah, I'm, I'm voting uh, Alyssa out. Uh, and, uh, you know, that's, that's pretty much about it. He also brought up the th idea that, uh, Alyssa threatened with the jury votes and friendship after the game and how that didn't really sit right with him. He was originally going to tell her that he was voting her out, but now he's decided that he'll probably explain it in the goodbye messages and leave it at that. Brittany then tried to be like, well, you know, you could do a sympathy vote because, you know, I'm voting for, for Taylor to stay regardless. So, you know, you could just force a tie and make Monty do it if you really want to do that. Uh, and he seemed like, you know, yeah, I'll, I'll consider it. I'll think about it. And it seemed like, hey, maybe, maybe we might actually have this happen, right? This might actually work. Uh, but no, uh, Turner then late in the evening uh, ended up filling in uh, Monty and Taylor that Brittany was trying to get the vote to flip on them. Uh, and yeah, it, he's going to be evicting Alyssa. Funny enough, though, while they were having this conversation in the in the kitchen, because they were all in the kitchen late at night uh, playing cards, uh, Chinese checkers, and just kind of hanging out and chatting. So when Brittany and Alyssa finally left, that's when this conversation happened. But Brittany was actually eavesdropping on the conversation uh, from around the corner. I, I don't know if she actually heard anything. They were really low whispers. Like, I had to pump my volume up just to hear them. And they got microphones on. So it's like, if I could barely hear them, I doubt she could from all the way around the corner. Uh, but even if she did hear them, I don't think it really matters much anyway. Because then she, maybe she just doesn't vote out Taylor and makes it 2-0. Or maybe she does still stick with voting out Taylor to try and save that Alyssa jury vote and say, see, I told you this is what Turner was going to do. Eh, but we'll see how that all really runs down. A couple of other little notes. Taylor did spend the night in the HOH room uh, with uh, with uh, Monty again uh, the night before. And there were lots of comments during the day like, you know, you could taste me all day. And <laughs> Monty's like, you know, you, you snatched my soul, gave me an out-of-body experience. <laughs> I still don't think they boinked. I, I don't think they fully boinked. They had a lot of fun. They had a lot of fun. Uh, Taylor also uh, uh, told uh, Brittany that she was mad at Monty uh, because he was like waffling on the vote just to try and 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 push the idea that they're getting uh, closer than they really are. And Brittany once again tried to push how close Monty and Turner were getting, uh, but it, it really doesn't matter. She also tried to say that Monty knew that Brittany and Taylor were going on the block uh, after Direfest when Turner won HOH, but I honestly don't think he actually knew until like very last minute, uh, because 
that night when Turner won HOH, I even was convinced, like, oh, Turner's sticking with the plan. Like, he's sticking with the leftovers, and he's going to put up a list in Terrence. It wasn't until Kyle came up in the middle of the night after everybody went to sleep and he came up and woke up Turner and was like, hey, listen, like, I think you should put up Brittany and Taylor and here's why. And then he finally actually convinced Turner to do that. So I don't think Monty actually knew unless he told him like right before the nominations. So that was just more uh, Kyle, uh, uh, Brittany just trying to break up any Taylor Turner Monty connection there might be. But there's no chance of that because everything that Britney's doing is getting back to them. There's so few people in the house that you really can't hide uh, these conversations for very long. Uh, so Britney's kind of just sinking her own ship. Now at this point, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, going into the Final Four, let's say Monty, Turner, or Taylor win the veto and Britney is not the HOH. There's a good chance they all just say, you know what? Let's just the three of us stick it out and get rid of Brittany. She doesn't deserve to be here. Uh, and and let's call it call it that. Uh, and let's just go into the final three nice and strong. In that scenario, too, I don't know what happens. Maybe Taylor takes Monty in a final two scenario. What Monty does, does he take Turner? Does he take Taylor? I don't know. Uh, Turner probably takes Monty. It, there's a lot of interesting scenarios that could play out if that's the final three. If Brittany is there, it's probably a little bit simpler where nobody takes Brittany unless Brittany wins it. Uh, at this point, especially with Taylor finding out that uh, Brittany was trying to flip the vote, there's no way that Taylor would take Brittany to the final two, I think, at this point. I think she's done. But there is a chance. There is a chance that maybe they go, you know what? Brittany's easy to beat. But I just, it just feels to me like the three of them now at this point have gotten so close. They just want to get to the end with each other uh, and then battle it out between the three of them. But we'll see. We'll see how it all turns out. A couple programming notes. Uh, like I mentioned, we will be live tonight on the channel for the live uh, eviction. We also might be getting HOH tonight. So the announcer at the end of the episode was like, you know, tomorrow night, find out who's evicted. But they also said, find out who punches their ticket to the final three by winning the HOH. Or something along those lines. But the way it was worded, it sounded like we were going to get to watch HOH on the episode. Which does kind of make sense with what the schedule is going forward so there's no Wednesday episode next week we have an episode on Sunday uh Wednesday like I said no episode because Survivor and Amazing Race are uh, both premiering on that day I will have uh episode recaps uh for those as well right here on the channel uh so keep an eye out for that uh probably I don't know what I what I should do as far as the timing of those uh whether I should put them out uh, the morning after, the day of, uh, well, that's still to be determined, but we'll see. Uh, so that's Wednesday. Uh, Thursday will be uh, the Final Four eviction episode. Friday will be the Final Three, like, memory lane episode, and then kind of the start of the HOH competition. Uh, and then Sunday is the two-hour finale. Uh, so that will be uh, a big, big thing. There's only, what, four one, two, three, four, four episodes after tonight. Crazy that we're already here uh, for this. But uh, yeah, it should be uh, another wild uh, eviction episode. What we could have been a blind side seems like now it's just going to be uh, the standard eviction where Alyssa uh, is sent to jury. Uh, but hey, anything can happen in the next few hours. Maybe Turner does flip, but I don't see it happening. <laughs> I don't see it happening at all. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below uh, about everything that's been happening on the feeds. Uh, you know, are you excited to see uh, the live eviction episode tonight? Uh, do you think we'll get HOH tonight? That's that's going to be a thing. Uh, so make sure if you are new here, hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, if you made it all the way to the end, smash that like button. Hit that notification bell so you get a notification uh, every time I post a video, every time I go live. You'll never miss one. Also, uh, there are links in the description and the pin comment down below to my Twitter, my Twitch, uh, our Discord, where you can join the conversation over there as well. Uh, so once again, thank you guys all so much for watching and the amazing support uh, that I've gotten throughout this season. And I will see you tonight.